Ruben, fantastic finish. It looked really casual. Looked lovely. Uh, yeah, and that, uh, to be fair, it was uh, the defender made it a bit easier for me because he just uh, blocked the line for the goalkeeper to uh, see the ball. So I just used him as a target and I just curled it around it and uh, it hit the back of the net and that's uh, when I was uh, really happy, yeah. yeah. Nice assist from Maka. Whenever he gets the ball in a little bit of space, 20, 25 yards out, you wonder if he's going to take it on himself. But it was quite a selfless sort of uh, layoff, wasn't it? And it played it perfectly into your path. Uh, no, nah, yes, uh, I was really happy uh, with Maka for doing that. I, uh, I was. I just gave him a hug afterwards to, uh, when uh, we celebrated. But uh, yeah, it was a nice thing for him to do. And uh, the next time, I'm going to try and find him. Mm. The knee slide was pretty special as well, Ruben. Fantastic conditions for it. Although I think you did aim for the wrong photographer. Our photographer was slightly to the left. So I didn't see, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see. I just saw uh, a picture and a, a photographer, and uh, I just pointed at him. And uh, I'll see. Uh, a picture on the Notts County uh, page so that was a good picture as well so I accept it. It was it was the perfect uh, celebration for the conditions. Talk to us about the conditions obviously it was a bit showery today the, the pitch had taken a lot of water before the game what was it like out there in terms of the surface? Uh, heavy uh, a bit the same as the Oldham athletic game uh, tough uh, but I think the the pitch was was in good conditions just the rain made it a bit more heavier towards for the legs but um, I don't think that's really oh I don't think that's really an excuse and uh, we end up winning the game, we did our thing, played the ball around and uh, yeah, see the game out. Is it fair to say it wasn't necessarily our best performance of the season in terms of being free flowing, mm. but the effectiveness of the key moments, you know, yeah. Jim O'Brien's finish from close range, mm -hmm. your goal and obviously Aaron's composure at the end there, just in those moments we just had that quality didn't we today? Yeah, I think this season uh, when you're on the pitch and even though you're not playing the best game, we've got Ketwin and Macaulay Longstaff, of course, who can just out of nothing just score a goal. So uh, we are always confident that we are going to score no matter what uh, the the game is, is telling us. But uh, nah, yeah, it started with uh, as a great cross and of course Macaulay is there and then every defender is focused on him. He takes a shot and then Jim can do the rest of the work as of course, uh, yeah, a nice finish as well. But uh, yeah, nah, it wasn't it wasn't the best start towards the game but I think at the end we, we see the game out and we do our job yeah does it feel like and it's a cliche but does it feel like winning is becoming a bit of a habit I mean the Oldham draw felt a bit weird didn't it, it almost felt yeah. like a defeat there was a bit yeah. everyone felt a bit low after that even though it's a point on the road mm -hmm. we're conditioning ourselves as a club and as a team to winning every week at the minute aren't we is that yeah. is that a positive thing for the group do you think uh, yeah of course uh, even when we draw away against Oldham like which is a big club in the league uh, we are really disappointed with that result and uh, not just because of that just also because we have teams knocking on our door that wants that uh, top spot so uh, we just need to carry on winning and um, yeah focus on ourselves really yeah we need you back out there on Tuesday Boreham Wood the game's coming thick and fast how are you feeling obviously you got taken off there midway through the second half oh yeah I'm feeling fine uh, it was just uh, just have a rest and uh, at the Gaff and myself we were confident enough that uh, the team would see the rest of the game out yeah I mean, earlier in the season, you probably weren't getting as many goal involvements as, mm -hmm. as you'd have liked, but it feels like in the last two or three months, you're yeah. involved pretty much at all times in mm -hmm. goals in, in every game, adding to the, the fantastic work you're doing a little bit deeper in the pitch. How much are you enjoying life at Notts at the minute? Uh, I've always enjoyed life at Notts, and uh, scoring goals is, of course, uh, a massive thing for me. But uh, at the start of the season, I didn't have the numbers that I wanted, but we were winning games. And, uh, and you were playing well. Yeah, 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 but... People don't see that. That's that's okay. But uh, no, we were we are winning games, and of course that one matters. But for uh, individual thing, it's it's nice to score and be amongst the goals. So um, yeah, life is good. Yeah, and I had my uh, I had my brother and two of my uh, good mates out there with the away fans today. So that was a, a special thing. That was the first away game they've been to. So uh, I'm really happy to uh, score in front for them yeah, as well. That's a proper English away day to take them to in a packed out yeah. terrace behind the goal mm -hmm. there. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad you got the, the goal and the result for them, Ruben. Well done. And we'll see you Tuesday against Bournemouth. Yes, thank you.